Hey, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyper Stamper. I want to show you today's antique junk journal. I love the title of this book, Expressing Yourself. It, you just can't do any better for that if you are actually using your junk journals for journaling. Uh, a lot of people use their junk journals just because they're beautiful. Mine are very historic and sometimes they're just eye candy, but this one here, it can be both. So lots of places to express yourself in this antique journal. I love the spine. It's still got the library number on here. This was a library book. I've kept the spine intact and uh, I did have to do some repairs. So I covered that up with some ribbon lace here and I made uh, a bangle out of vintage jewelry, mostly vintage jewelry. I can see a few new pieces in there that I had. Red is really hard to find for me in vintage jewelry. So uh let's have a little look on the inside it's got a little tie here i put some uh, vintage crochet doily here now there's a story behind this this because it's an express yourself journal i wanted to include i have these love letters here and they are from wallace from maine and wallace was courting maude wilson uh for a few years and he would write her letters uh, in 1906, and I got them from an auction. Um, somebody didn't want them, and I've had them literally for years and years and years. I just, they're so beautiful. Um, now, it, the language of the day is very different than ours, but you can definitely uh, read the story. You can see here, December 9th, 1906, and he was at a boarding house in Maine, working there and courting Maud up in New Brunswick. So I've actually Googled to see if I could find out if this couple made it, <laughs> but I can't find anything on them. But anyways, I wanted to include that three page love letter in there. Some, some people separate the envelopes and the letters, they break down the pages, but I just, I couldn't. So whoever gets this journal gets that wonderful love letter. And uh, I've still got three more here that I've, four more here that I'm probably going to hoard and keep forever. <laughs> so I've got this wonderful children's book page, these children flying kites, aren't that beautiful? And then this here, you also express yourself in music. And I thought that this would be a great page. Look at the images on here. Look at this weird milkweed ad with the lady, this actress's head coming out of the bottle. It's kind of creepy, but really cool. And that is from uh, April 1920. I told you this junk journal is absolutely stuffed with really exciting things. So stay tuned here. I've got the original first page there, 1939, some vintage botanical sheets. And then look at this beautiful vintage uh, dictionary page with the bird on it. And here is a lovely, beautiful church here. And that one is to written to uh, Ted in Utica, New York. And I just think it's wonderful. I love it. This is a dandy place to go fishing. <laughs> dandy! And that's how they expressed themselves in the 1800s. Look at this beautiful blue jay picture here. Ba bird babies. And then I put some antique paper on the back so you can journal on it. Some more fun vintage dictionary pages there. Uh, a brownie recipe here from a vintage recipe book. Some fun clusters. This is a plate uh, of um, the Truckee... Carson Storage Dam in Nevada. Isn't that beautiful? Full plate image there. It is really stunning. That is very old, early 1900s. More uh, dessert recipes there. Vintage dictionary page up here. I love that as a hand stamped. Uh, Nina had stamped her name on almost every page of this book, so <laughs> quite a few of those. And here's one of these awesome Arborite countertop samples. And this one is coral and a truce. So I'll look at the lines on there. Just really, just a fun thing to have. And that's from the original Arborite Company in the 1940s. There is one of the original um, community chest cards from Monopoly 1930s. And along with some money that came from that same game. There we tuck them in there. And this is from a 1920s Things to Make and Do book. And I just added this one, this photograph from the 1920s because she is really expressing herself. She is having fun. And you don't see that very often in photographs from the early 1900s because they had to stand very, very still for their photographs or else they would go blurry. So they often didn't smile even. Really fun uh, children's book page up here. 
some of that beautiful Polish embroidery here. This is a lovely plate. And another wonderful children's book page here. And there's more of that crossword puzzle from the Things to Make and Do book, 1920s. So fun. And then down here, I've got the inside of a book here. And you can see the uh, original embossing on there. It's really cool. And a vintage playing card. That's from the 1970s. Just really fun. Vintage botanical book page. A little journaling tag there. More vintage crochet. Woodworking from the early 1900s. And another wonderful little children's book page, the dog and a cat, and two receipts from the 1950s. And it looks like the same company probably printed these receipts, eh? And speaking of expressing yourself, this student from 1909 did this uh, hand with a, a pen and ink quill uh, music. So that is how this person expressed themselves as well, musically. And so I think that's really, really special handmade music sheets. You don't see that very often at all. Anyways, I won't fight with that right now. And then over here, this is not antique or vintage, but I made it. And it is um, eco printing. So I used leaves and onions and some other fruits and vegetables to dye that paper. That's kind of cool. And then this beautiful little uh, butterfly image down here from a children's book from the 30s. This is also from the 1930s. Some little child has crayoned in here, which is really kind of sweet. Wampers mistake. Now, how cool is this? I got this out of a 1960 country music magazine for teenagers. But look at this wonderful ad here for World Skirt. I guess maybe they would have worn those to um, country dances. I just love it so much. And then on the other side, there's just these wonderful ads and uh, the uh, uh, fan club mail there and that's all tucked into a 1920s children's book page pocket wonderful 1940s encyclopedia of housekeeping how to clean our houses properly and look good while doing it <laughs> just a nice little page top there from 1937 1920s and then in this pocket that's from a fairy book from the 70s and then this is a page from this book on letter writing so that's another way you can express yourself letter writing and then this here talking about expressing yourself when a woman says come hither without words it is hilarious i'm going to let the owner of this journal read about how funny this is an advertisement from 1920 <laughs> it is pretty funny oh my goodness okay a little more woodworking and then this here is from the 1800s and it is called Nell's Letter. So again, more ways to express yourself there. And I just put some uh, paper on the back, antique paper that uh, you could journal on there as well. And this is from a very early 1900s music book. It's got the purple ink, which was not popular. So really kind of cool. And then this is from uh, 1899. And look at this, a critical moment for the anger, this girl fishing, and I just love it. I love that she's barefoot and she's got her fishing pouch. It's just wonderful. And then here I have this wonderful um, Glasgow plate. Isn't that fun? Early 1900s again. A really cute little children's book page bottom here. Just some more antique crochet there. And I just made a little journaling envelope here to read a book. And in 1955... Uh, road map and this one is Dallas on this side and 1930s ledger for the Beacon Lodge attendants oh and then in here oh my gosh it just never ends <laughs> other lands than ours and you can journal on the back of that one as well and I think that oh look at this beautiful the early 1900s Texas here oh my gosh it's just awesome so there you go I'm putting that on Etsy now hyperstamper.etsy.com. I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. We'll see you soon.